Well, you know, when I read the script, I was originally going to be playing a different part. It was just a little cameo. <laughs> and Margaret Cho was playing the therapist. And then she had a conflict. So Chris Lee, who was one of the producers, <laughs> called and said, can you do Margaret's part? Can you do the therapist? And I'm like, you know, for me, oh, this is so bad. But I'm like going, oh, I spent a whole another day way more work for the same amount of money because <laughs> mostly I'm doing it as a favor right so bad so so bad yeah but look what you get to show but you know I said okay so then um, and I'd worked with Quentin before doing little tiny little bits and pieces here and there and I really liked him but I hadn't worked with him like in a real movie you know because he does like community things yeah. sometimes uh -huh. anyway um, and it turned, you know, I don't know, I don't know, Boo Boo Stewart, I don't know any of, you know, I don't know anything. I know Joan, I know BD, <laughs> and I think, you know, who knows what's, what it's going to turn into. Um, and I really loved Boo Boo. I loved him. He and I, I mean, I felt so comfortable with him. I felt like he was really working. I felt like the scenes we were doing were really real. Um, and Quentin makes you feel like you're the best actor ever and you're making fabulous genius decisions. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like getting my ego stroked all, you know, all day long. And it was a really nice and Chris is really a good producer. You know, he's been around the block. So he made everybody feel really comfortable and so it was a good environment, and I walked away thinking, "Gee, I hope you know, I hope it all works out," because my experience was great. And then when I saw it, I was actually like, "Wow, it's even you know, for me, it was like different than what I thought it was going to be." First of all, I only saw bits and pieces at the beginning, and it was beautiful. Cinematically, were beautiful, and I thought, "Wow, this looks good. I hope it's a good movie." And then. You know, I was really proud of what they put together. Yeah. I, you know, I really don't like watching myself anyway. <laughs> Seriously. Most actors don't. I love theater. I know. In my mind, I have a whole picture of who I am. I'm a different person. Then I see myself on film or in TV and I go, What? I know, that's me <laughs> pretending. <laughs> who am I fooling? I think that's a really good film. It's a, just a big gay love, love story, yeah. <laughs> And they're gay. <laughs> but it's really, really sweet. Comedy. 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 Definitely. And, and there's plastic surgery involved because I'm a plastic surgeon. So I was just going to ask what your role is. So you play a, a plastic doctor surgeon. Again. I'm a doctor again. Yeah. Yes. How is your plastic surgery skills? Um, fine. <laughs> <laughs> In the movie, they're probably yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, I think awesome, my bedside right? manner is not so good. <laughs> I'm channeling that part of me that is uh, probably the uh, unpleasant <laughs> side of um, myself. I'm not channeling anybody else in particular. It's just me on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we know how you are on a bad day. Yeah. Watch the movie, right? Yes. <laughs>